Welcome back, y'all. I'm continuing my spring cleaning mood from yesterday. I'm cleaning out the coat closet over here, and I just found two stocking stuffers <laughs> that were in there. So, a little surprise. I found my strawberry truck. I never found my Valentine's Day stuff yesterday because I didn't tackle this closet, and I'm pretty sure that's where everything is. I really want to bring out my lemon stuff, but I'll wait until about March or April for that. I have this little You Are Loved sign. So. coat closet is done that basket right there is full of hats and gloves and then the basket underneath it it has my spring stuff in it I'm just gonna leave it up here because we'll be getting that out in just a little while this bag is full of leftover Christmas and fall stuff that hadn't been taken down to the shed yet I left my little fox's head sticking out so I would know it wasn't trash it's locked right now though and Titus has the key so when he gets home I'll send one of the boys to take that down for me and I did find some of the Valentine's Day stuff the rest of it must be in my closet or either down at the shed. I don't know though. I don't remember taking any Valentine's Day stuff down there. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put these three over here at the hot cocoa coffee station. I'm gonna put up Mr. Gingerbread Man and we're gonna put up hot cocoa served daily. And I think I'm, I'm gonna leave this one out for a little bit longer. It just looks wintry. It still has some battery left. The kids put this game over here. They like to play it sometimes while they're waiting on breakfast or supper. This just has some cocoa things in it. This still has some hot cocoa in it. I'll just leave it until they finish up that hot cocoa. The mugs, I think I'm just gonna turn around the snowmen. You know, just turn them around and then they just look like little red, red handled mugs over here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And then this is empty. So we'll go ahead and take this out. There's a little cocoa, put it over here. We'll put this here, cute. And I think I'll just leave that like it is. We'll put this love makes a house a home in front of the little hot cocoa things. Let me fix my lights here. And then I'm gonna scoot this over here and we'll put this there. And I'll put their little game back right there. <laughs> there we go, a little touch of Valentine's Day. And like I said, I know I have a few other things. They must be in my closet. So it's a little bit after three o'clock now. I'm waiting on Manly to wake up from his nap and then we have to go to town. I need to go by the post office. Then I need to run into the dollar store for a couple of things and I think that's it. I wanted to go buy Ingles because they're having a pretty good sale this week, but I want to get groceries tomorrow and it's not any sales that like, you know, I'll be sad if I missed them. They've just got some pretty good deals going on, so. <laughs> Probably just gonna wait until tomorrow. Maybe they'll have some better ones. Yes, ma'am. What I do with horses that don't like to be nailed up is, uh, like I just did right then, I'll go one, two, three, and I won't hit that last lick. Yeah. It's usually the metal on metal that they don't like. Yeah. So I'll just go like that, and I don't hit that last lick. What? And I do it at the very end. Yes, sir. Good talking to you. You too, buddy. Yups. We got lots of loves. <laughs> you wanna see a squishy love? Squish it. Love is beautiful bicycle. Loads of love. You done squishing it together is our favorite place to be. That's cute. Lots of pink this year. Last year it was mostly reds. I'm seeing lots of pink. Oh, those are cute. That little garland. That's cute. Love is holding hands. Hmm? There's a love plate. Oh yeah, there's some love plates. Anything, anytime he sees a heart, he says it's a love instead of a heart. <laughs> It's a heart. Mm -hmm. Love never fails. Hello, love. Some trucks. Be mine. What is this? Um, a koala. A koala. What is this one? A panda. Yeah, panda. A muff rock. <laughs> oh, they have some little gift sets. Who could get this? Is that funny? Yeah. Yeah. Now we're at the chocolates. Red velvet chips of boys. Over here we already have Easter stuff. Yeah, the eggs! Mm-hmm, 
There's some eggs, little trucks up here. Yeah. Bird houses. All the spring stuff is starting to come out, Manny. Yeah. Look at this little sugar jar. That is adorable. They have some big chalkboard signs. This one says things to get done. And that one's broken. This week's menu. They are $15. It's a nice menu one. And this week, just like a little weekly planner thing. Pretty tumblers, oranges, lemons. These are cute. They say cozy. I saw those back before Christmas. Oh, look, Manly. What? Good morning to ya. How are you doing on it this fine day? Cut. <laughs> yeah, let's put it back. That's what it would say to you in the mornings when you drink your coffee. Um, I don't what? drink coffee. <laughs> I just found the perfect cup for you. A dinosaur one? And it says, I am hungry. All right, y'all, we're back home. I'm gonna go ahead and get supper started. We're making a rotini bake tonight. I got a little bit of oil in here with some garlic. Now I'm gonna start adding the ground beef. So this is kind of like a, we've made it before, it's kind of like a lasagna spaghetti mix, but we use rotini instead of lasagna noodles or spaghetti noodles. Kind of like a spaghetti bake, lasagna style with rotini pasta, that's what it is. We call it rotini bake. Or what did we call it in that one video? We called it something, I can't remember. Rosagna or rotini. <laughs> okay, the rest of this needs to defrost just a little bit more. Okay, while that's cooking, we're gonna make some cheesy garlic toast over here. We're gonna spread on a little bit of butter. We're gonna put some garlic powder. I'm hungry. You hungry? Now, I just have a little bit of shredded mozzarella that I'm gonna put on top of the rotini bake. So we're gonna use these mozzarella slices for cheesy toast. And for three of them, we're gonna use pepper jack. Oh, good. We're still putting some parsley flakes on top. And then these will just go in the oven under the boiler after the rotini yeah. bake gets done. I just went ahead and got them ready. All right, the ground beef is almost done. Still have a little piece in here that's frozen. When that gets done, we'll drain it and add the sauce. I'm just using jarred sauce this time. I was gonna chop up some tomatoes and peppers and stuff to put in here and onions, but the sauce that I have has tomato, garlic, and onion in it, so. Okay, so we're gonna let this come to a simmer. I'm gonna go ahead and drain the pasta. Okay, we're putting in two beaten eggs with the pasta. Mix those all around. And this whole container of ricotta cheese. It's 15 ounces. Is everybody ready for the ricotta plop? What's that? That. <laughs> so this is a little different. I can't even remember if we made it this way last time or not, but we're mixing the cheese and egg mixture with the rotini pasta instead of doing it in layers. We're also gonna add the meat mixture in here too in a minute. So it's gonna be all mixed together and then just have a little cheese on top. I'm gonna put some garlic powder in here and parsley. Now the meat mixture. Now we'll mix this all together and we're gonna pour it into a nine by 13 casserole dish. Put some mozzarella cheese on top. I did have a little bit for this, but not enough for the cheesy toast. We're gonna cover it with foil and it goes in the oven for about 35 minutes. Are there many? One, two, okay, let's go. 
three. Gonna be a clear night tonight, Jonah. Telescope's already set up and ready on the back porch. 